to the reel and welcome to urban fly fishing. What is urban fly fishing or just urban fishing? Well to me it's fishing somewhere that the fishing rights aren't monetized. In other words free, often located nearer towns or residential areas and as a result you're more likely to bump into people and the surroundings aren't always as welcoming as you might want. So a lot of people might think why? Why would you want to fish somewhere that's sometimes busy with other people, kayakers, and dogs or even people that like to jump in next to where you're fishing or in places that have litter and graffiti here and there. Well it came about for a couple of reasons for me. Reasonably priced day ticket waters aren't always within easy reach. Um, if you want a short session, particularly as I've got an older, had kids, more responsibility etc, fishing time becomes a bit harder to come by. Being able to steal an hour here or there means I can fish more often. I'm also lucky that my nearest local stretch of free urban fishing is within a couple of minutes walk of my house. The second reason I was intrigued by urban fishing, particularly urban fly fishing, is the opportunity to target brown trout. Round my neck of the woods, my local river waters for trout are all the classic chalk streams, which also come with premium day ticket fees. When I started fly fishing, I couldn't afford to shell out in excess of 100 pounds for a day's river fishing, which to be fair is still the case most of the time and it seemed daft to spend that kind of money when my casting was questionable, which, to be fair, it still is. Most of my time spent urban fishing is from May to July. There's often a decent mayfly hatch, and a couple of times I've enjoyed a half hour of decent fishing on the mayfly. So I can head out at a minute's notice, as these opportunities to fish are often spontaneous. I have a bag ready with what I need and a rod set up so I can just pick it up and head out. So if you're looking for your best chance at a local free fishing spot, Google is your friend. I'd start on Google Maps and investigate what the nearest rivers to you are, and you can normally figure out if there's public access. Next thing to do is search the river's name and free fishing, and any proper free fishing spots are normally discussed on forums or even listed on council websites. If you can't say for sure, it might be worth giving your local council a call to see if they know. Better to be on the right side of the law. I had a decent evening session recently on the New Zealand rig. After my first few casts and dodging the nugget box which was later relocated to the bin, the elk hair caddis dry took this first fish which I'm on the fence to as whether it's a brownie or a sea trout. Soon lost a second. A bit later on I had another which handily unhooked itself when I got it to the bank. I noticed a decent fish rising on the edge of some weeds, but no luck rising that one. And then typically, I had a couple of casts before going home after putting the GoPro away, and this spotty little brown took the nymph. I'm going to admit, I've not caught anything of a decent size fly fishing this urban river. I've seen and cast flies to nice trout, but caught the better ones in the one to two pound region on spinners and jigs early in the season. The dreams to catch a nice brown a pound or more on a dry from a free stretch, but the bigger fish I've seen hang out in areas where there's little flow and don't rise freely. They seem a bit wise to what I'm up to. On my way back from trying to stalk that brownie, I did some sight nymphing in my favourite spot between the bridges.
straight and grab my beaded hairs here. So I decided on a whim to head out one morning, try the nymph again. I almost thought leave the camera at home, but I decided to take it and I'm glad I did. I got to talking to a guy who was also a fisherman and he'd spotted some decent fish hanging around by the bridge. The biggest was a trout about a pound and a half. He kindly helped me spot the fish as I drifted the nymph at them and eventually I hooked into a better fish and my best from this stretch on the fly. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mate, some of them, some of them fish, like eight, nine pounds. Bloody hell. Browns? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, oh. big fish. Yeah. Oh Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blimey now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Oh, this is, I've literally just started. Tell you what, that's the nicest brownie I've had on a fly. Here, anyway. Well, there you have it. It's not the idyllic picture you might have in your head when you think of fly fishing, yeah, but it's yeah. a way I've found to get out more and keep the itch at bay. Like they say, the tug is the drug. Anyway, tight lines, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.